Good morning everyone. My name is Pippi and I will be doing my first Pokemon Let's Play starting today. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call a Pokemon. I'm not going to read every single thing that comes up, but you know, it's, it's the intro. Gotta, gotta really enjoy this intro. The world is widely inhibited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times, playing together as friends, and at times helping one another out. And sometimes we just have fun battling others like us. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. How many times can you say Pokemon in one intro? Just curious. What about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Classic Pokemon question. Let's not confuse anyone this time around. I guess I'll be a girl. Just cause. Will you give me your name? My name is Pippi. So you're Pippi. Yes I am. Ah, I see. You're that Pippi. I'm famous. You're the one who's moving to Little Root Town where I live. Nice. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. So as I mentioned before, my name is Pippi. Hello. Thank you everyone for watching and trying me out. This is my first Pokemon Let's Play and I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do an Evolution Let's Play. It's going to be pretty casual. Not a lock or anything like that. The only thing is with um, Oras is that they kind of lock you out of doing a bunch of stuff in the beginning of the game. So I have to play through a little bit before I can even transfer my Eevees over to this game. I've bred a bunch of Eevee eggs and I'm just going to transfer them over so that I don't get any of the um, experience boosts from having traded Pokemon, so it's going to be great. Pippi, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of the bumping moving truck all that way? Yes, I'm reporting you. Someone should hear about this. Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? I've never heard quaint used in a positive way before. So I'm kind of wondering if my mom hates me. Alright, let's go see inside this house. I wish I had Pokemon to do all my heavy lifting. That'd be so much fun. I could just sit around and play Pokemon all day and could have Matchops clean my house for me. That'd be nice. Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. Roar. You should go and see your new room upstairs, Pippi. Dad even bought a new clock to help uh, celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. Like how she says that, but then you don't actually set the time. The clock on the wall isn't moving. You've got to set the time. It could have been a really fun mini game where they checked to see how many people even remembered how to use analog clocks, but no. I just tell you. Everything's put away neatly. Thank you, Pokemon. They finished moving everything in the downstairs, too. It really is nice having Pokemon on to help us. But you should make sure everything's all here on your desk. Really, I have to read the stupid book on my desk. <sighs> okay, Mom. Adventure rule number one. Open the menu with the X button. So if you're a complete newbie and you've never played Pokemon before, this might be useful. And 
I want to see my favorite part about this room. Lapras! I love this Pokemon so much. I want to hug it. If this were a real plushie, I would buy it. It's just so great. It's too bad we can't have a Lapras on the team for an evolution playthrough. We could pretend that Lapras was an evolution. People would buy that, right? Alright. Oh, Pippi, come quick! It's the Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. Interviewer. We brought you this report live in front of the Petalburg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me, one of Dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. I like how they highlight in blue, just in case you're slow and you're not sure why she's telling you that stuff. It's because you're supposed to go there next. All right. I don't know why he's not even in this building. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're Pippi, our new next-door neighbor. How nice. Welcome. We have a son who is just about the same age as you. He has been so excited about making a new friend. He should be in his room upstairs. I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. I don't know about anyone else, but I'd be really pissed off if some random kid wandered into my room and was just like, yeah, your mom said I could come up here. What? Don't send people up to my room. Of course, my room is never as clean as his, so that could be part of it. Pokemon fully restored, items all packed, and... You! Who are you? Pippi? Oh, you're the new kid who just moved in next door? Huh. I didn't know that you'd be a girl. What's that supposed to mean? What's wrong with being a girl? Dad, I mean Professor Birch, told me you were the kid of a gym leader. And I sort of hoped you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan. Well, I guess we'll still be neighbors, so... Nice to meet you. Let's be friends, okay? Uh-huh. Hey, uh, Peppy? Don't you have any Pokemon? If you want, I can catch you one. Uh, wait, I forgot. I'm supposed to be going out to help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? If you're going to catch Pokemon, then catch me one too! I don't understand your logic. Don't understand. That's okay, I'll get a Pokemon my own way. By having your dad give me one. <laughs> Scientist person. Hi, huh, you're looking for Professor Birch? The professor's away on fieldwork. Ergo, not here. Oh, I guess I have to tell you what fieldwork is? No, you don't. I know what fieldwork is. Fieldwork is when you study things in their natural environment, like in a field. Hmm. Alright. I don't know why I go in there and talk to him. It's not like I don't know where Professor Birch is. I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should we do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help them. I'll go help. <laughs> you call yourself a Pokemon professor. How do you even survive without me? Hey, you! Over there! Please, help me out! In my bed, there are some Pokeballs! Okay. What Pokemon we choose here really doesn't matter, since we're not going to keep them for very long. But, I've always liked Trico. Yeah! You know you're cool. Apuchia. I don't know why I worry so much. This Puchiana is only level 3 anyways.
I went into the tall grass to survey wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. You should know better, Professor. You should know better. Oh? But you're Norman's girl, Pippi. I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young lady. This isn't the place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. Okay. So, Pippi, I've heard so much about you from your father, but you said you didn't have a Pokemon of your own yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's daughter. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? How come, in all of these games, the professors who do the research seem to know less about Pokemon than the trainers? Isn't that your job, to like know about Pokemon? While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? Why not? That's the spirit. Tree. You know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. Why, thank you. My boy Brendan happens to be out on Route 103 right now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? Sure. Great! I'm sure Brendan will be happy to hear that, too. You can help teach... He can help teach you what it means to be a trainer, and I can learn to read someday. And if you're ever lost along the way, just use the area nav on your Pokenav Plus. You can use it to see how to get to Route 103, where Brennan should be. And if you or your Pokemon get tired, get some rest back at your new house. Okay. Doesn't sound too difficult. I think we can handle this. I don't think anyone here gives us any items, so I'm not going to bother talking to them. Normally, I would be excited about encountering cool Pokemon. Oh, Wurmple. But, uh, I'm not going to keep this Trico, so... Any experience I earn is basically going to be wasted. Wasted experience! Like I said, I decided to do Oras as my first... Let's play, because I really enjoy it. I think they did a really good job on the remake, but my least favorite part is anytime I want to play through with my own Pokemon, I have to get all the way to Little Root before I can even do anything interesting. Or, I mean, to Petalburg. I don't know what I'm talking about. Die, Wurmple. Good thing all you do is string shot because you're a bug Pokemon. Anything else would kind of suck. I should have just run from this. I probably could have gotten away. Oh no, I'm so scared. It's a little bug. There you go. Go away. Level 6 already, isn't that sad? Alright. Where is Brendan? Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay, being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you some useful advice. First of all, that's a Pokemart there. Just look for a blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Can I catch, buy some Pokeballs now? Please? Maybe? I'd like you to have these as a part of a special promotion. Yay, potions! Potions can be used any time, so they can be very useful to have. 
this is a Pokemon Cinder. Look for a red roof. Ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. That's it. That was the advice for me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Now, I'm torn. I think it's kind of cool when they put the Pokemarts Poke inside the Pokemon Center and you don't have two separate buildings. <sighs> All right. Oh, I don't want to talk to the PC. Yes, he only Pokemon. All right. Route 103. Really? Stop. Wingle, I really don't want to fight you. Level 2. Alright, I can see Brendan. Can I get to him? Hi. Okay, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Huh? Hey, Pippi. Oh, so you finally got a Pokemon from my dad? Then how about a little battle since we're here and all? I'm going to teach you what being a trainer is all about. Right. That's not fair. Why do you get a Torchic? That's really not fair. All right. But I am a level above you. And you're too stupid to use an elemental move on me, so... You just keep using Scratch. I like that. Man, if he actually used Ember or something on me, I would be dead. Teach me how to be a trainer, will you? It was a good battle, thanks. Right. Let me heal both of our parties real quick. Why, thank you. I think I know why my dad had his eye on you now. Look, you just got your Pokemon, right? And you already have that strong of a bond? I get the feeling that you could befriend any Pokemon, Pippi, no doubt. Well, I've got some good data here, so I guess it's time to get back to the lab. You should head back too, Pippi. I like how your rivals always challenge you and talk all tough, like they're going to show you how to be trainers, and then when you beat them, they're just like all casual, like, cool. I guess you kind of know what you're doing. Maybe you should battle someone first before deciding that you're just better than them naturally. I'm heading back to Dad's lab first. Come on, Pippi. What is this, a race now? Do-do-do-do-do. Oh, Pippi, over here. Hello. So I hear you beat Brendan on your first try. Amazing. Brendan's been helping my research for a long time, so he has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Hmm, I think that settles it. Pippi, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Yosh. 
that Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My boy Brennan takes his with him everywhere he goes. Whenever he catches a rare Pokemon and records it sat in the Pokedex, why he comes to seek me out whenever I'm in the field and show me. The Pokemon and people you will meet, and the great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokedex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Erg, I'm getting the itch to go out and do field work again. Huh, so you got a Pokedex too, Pippi. Well then, here, have some Pokeballs on me. You can use them to catch wild Pokemon. Yeah. That's my favorite part about Pokemon, is just catching Pokemon and completing the Pokedex. Right? Alright, now we can just get on out. Do I have to talk to my mom at this point? I don't remember. Do you care that I'm doing anything? No, I don't want to rest. That was a mistake. Alright. Pippi, wait! Oh, see? I'm an idiot. Hi, Mom. I was just in the house. Pippi, Pippi, did you introduce, her, introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from the Professor? How nice. You are your father's child, all right. You look to get good together with a Pokemon. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But don't put yourself too hard. If anything happens, you can always come home, okay, honey? So, I've always wondered, why didn't my father give me a Pokemon, since he's a gym leader and all? Hi. Pippi! Hi, Brendan. This is from my dad. He said he forgot to give it to you before. The Pokenaf Plus has been updated. The DexNav function has been added to your Pokenaf Plus. The app I just added to your Pokenaf Plus is called the DexNav. It can tell you lots about the Pokemon living in each area and that kind of stuff. It's a handy app to have if you're trying to catch a lot of different Pokemon. Guess it's time to use the DexNav to do a little more catching myself. I actually really like the DexNav feature in this game. It's a lot of fun to do. Anyway, I was talking about my father not giving me a Pokemon because he's a horrible father. I know a lot of people like to interpret it as him being a good father who isn't trying to impose his Pokemon career path on me. But I always kind of thought of it as, like, an absent father who doesn't even notice that you like Pokemon. He's just off in his own world playing with Pokemon, and then you show up one day at his gym with Pokemon, and he's like, Wait, what? You like Pokemon? It never even occurred to me that that would be something you'd be into. I don't know. That's just me. Absorb. Actually, I might catch this Zigzagoon. We're going to need an HM slave at some point anyways. I did a lot of damage. That did almost nothing. Let's see. Our first catch! What's a good nickname for a Zigzagoon? I'm bad at nicknames. You are going to be Ziggy. What I want to know is, do you have Pickup? Because I'm replacing you if you don't have Pickup. Nice! That's all I care about. Alright. Oh no. Hey, Pippi, over here. See that right there? There's a tail sticking out. There's a Pokemon hiding there. Should probably actually change. Now look here, if you check your Dex Nav, 
Score! It looks like that Pokemon knows a pretty rare move, too. Does it? Really? Pippi, try getting closer, real nice and slow. Push lightly on the circle pad to sneak close to Pokemon hiding in the grass. That's what it said in some book. Alright, I like how it does it for you. Yeah? Okay. Here we go. What move do you have? I guess we'll catch it just to find out. Thunder Fang. Cool. That really is a nice move to have in an area surrounded by water Pokemon, don't you think? Yeah, we're not going to give you a nickname. You are doomed to live in the Pokemon box forever. I'd really like to hatch an Eevee soon. That would be nice. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Okay. You're dead. Level eight already. All right. Ah. Uh. There's no way to avoid these people. How does that even make sense as like a social norm? You make eye contact with someone and you have to fight with them? It seems pretty violent if you ask me. It's like, you looked at me! Now I'm gonna kill you! You've just got a Wurmple. Man, you shouldn't pick fights with people when you only have a Wurmple.
Is it too early to buy repels? Go away, Poochina. I already caught one of you. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Look, man, I might be a beginner, but uh, I'm on a whole nother level than you. Poochiena. Well, at least you don't have bug Pokemon. Let's heal some. All right. Hi, Tallow. You're so weak, I almost killed you in one hit. All right, so I gotta get through this forest. Hi, Brendan. Hey, there you are. How's it going, Pippi? Hope you've been using your Dex Nav and perfecting your sneaking skills. Oh, and you do know about your Dex Nav's detector mode, right? It'll react to any Pokemon in the air, so it's pretty handy to use. Thank you for that information. Whoa, I check him out, Pippi. All right, I will admit that this is kind of cool. It's like, I don't know, seeing them like that makes me feel kind of warm, you know? No, I don't know. Please tell me more. We're nearly there. Petalburg, here we come. Yes, Petalburg! Norman is the gym leader in this city, right? And he's your dad, Pippi. I know he's my dad. You don't have to tell me. I'm thinking maybe I should challenge him once I train my Pokemon a bit more. Guess I'll be off then. You do that. Not bad. It was a good battle. Th thank you, sir. Come back and challenge me again anytime. I'll be looking forward to seeing you and your Pokemon again when you're a bit stronger. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm going to do special training with my Pokemon. Then I'll challenge this gym again. Thank you for the battle, Mr. Norman. Hmm? Why, if it isn't Pippi. So you finished moving in. I see. Well, 
I guess we shouldn't stand around here talking. Do you want to come in for a bit? We can talk in the gym. Sure, Dad. Anything you say, Dad. You know, I sure was surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Ah, I see. You're making a good start on your team. Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, huh, Pippi? Now that's something to look forward to. Um, I excuse me. I I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, aren't you? You're Wally, right? Y yes I'm supposed to go stay with my relatives in Vanderturf town for a while, but I thought I might be lonely by myself, so I wanted to bring a Pokemon with me. But I've never caught a Pokemon by myself. I'm not sure I can. Hmm, I see. Pippi, you heard all that, right? You go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here. I'll lend you one of my Pokemon. So, as I was saying before, some random kid shows up and asks for help catching a Pokemon, and my dad helps him. But does he help me get a Pokemon? No. Kind of fishy, if you ask me. I'll give you a Pokeball, too, so give it your best. I might be a little bitter. Thank you, Mr. Norman. Oh, um, Pippi, will you, will you come with me, right? Pippi, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Yes, they do. Please stay there to watch and see if I catch one properly. A wild waltz appeared. Is it true that Wally's waltz can be appear shiny in this game? I heard a rumor, but I don't know if it's a reliable rumor. That'd be kind of cool. Are there people out there who would just reset to see that? Probably. Throw the Pokeball! Wally, I I'm supposed to weaken the Pokemon before I throw my Pokeball, right? I read that in a book. There's nothing wrong with reading. I like to read. See, man, you got this. I, I did it! It's my, my own Pokemon! Thanks so much, Pippi. Let's head back to the gym. Man, I didn't even do anything. I was just standing here. So, did it go well? Yes, it did. Thank you. Let me give you back my your Pokemon, sir. And you, Pippi, thank you so much for coming with me. It was all thanks to you two that I was able to catch Ralts. My very own Ralts. I will always, always treasure it. Oh, I know. It's not much of a thank you, but, um, Pippi, will you let me see your Pokenaf Plus for a second? Yes, I will. Okay, uh, that and, um, there. Yes. Wally updated Pippi's Pokenaf Plus. I read in a book how you can use the play nav to take care of your Pokemon and train them. There's even supposed to be this thing called the PSS where you can meet up with other trainers and battle friends and more. I've wanted to have my own Pokemon for so long and do all those kinds of things together, so I've all of these kinds of apps installed on my Pokenaf Plus for ages. Embarrassing, huh? I'm going to try my best together with Ralts. You do your best too, okay, Pippi? Oh, but my mom's waiting for me. I've got to get going. I hope we'll meet again, Pippi. And you too, Mr. Norman. Hmm, that boy will be worth keeping an eye on. But for now, Pippi, if you want to become as strong as a trainer, listen to my advice. First, head for Rustboro City, which lies beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other gym, Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders as well. Collect badges from them, understand? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. I'm sure it will battle one day. But that will only be after you've become stronger, Pippi. Alright, so, I think I'm going to stop here for now. This episode was probably a little bit boring, and I apologize for that. But it will be a lot more fun once we get our EVs going and we start our evolution process. 
So thanks for watching, and I will see you soon. Peace.